Welcome to the Rebounder Walker. This is a cardio warm-up 5 minutes running on the rebound. Rebounding can help work the muscles in the legs, increase your endurance, and strengthen your bones, among a number of other benefits. This type of exercise is gaining popularity because it's gentle on the joints but allows you to work your cardiovascular system without taxing the body. Why you should try rebounding and how to get started. What is rebounding? Rebounding is a type of aerobic exercise that is performed while jumping on a mini trampoline. Jumps can be fast or slow, and can be mixed with rest or aerobic stepping. Rebounding can help work the muscles in the legs, increase your endurance, and strengthen your bones, among a number of other benefits. This type of exercise is gaining popularity because it's gentle on the joints but allows you to work your cardiovascular system without taxing the body. Why you should try rebounding Rebounding is a low-impact cardiovascular exercise. It's generally appropriate for people of all ages, from children to older adults. Following are some additional benefits of rebounding. Works the abdominal core, leg, buttock, and deep back muscles. May help improve endurance. May stimulate the lymphatic system. Rebounding may help your body flush out toxins, bacteria, dead cells, and other waste products may help improve balance, coordination, and overall motor skills. Supports bone density, bone strength, and bone formation, while decreasing bone resorption trusted source, so it may be a good option if you have osteoporosis. Bouncing puts small amounts of pressure on the bones which helps them grow stronger, may support pelvic floor health, according to anecdotal. Safety tips. As with any exercise, it's a good idea to ask your doctor before you start rebounding. While mini trampolines to help absorb some of the force you might experience with traditional land exercises, like running, this type of exercise may not be appropriate if you've had previous surgery. When using a mini trampoline, Check to ensure that your trampoline is in working order and on a stable surface before each workout to reduce risk for falls or other injury. Move the trampoline away from the wall or other objects, like furniture. Be sure to do different types of moves on your trampoline so you don't overuse the same muscles each time you work out. Consider purchasing a trampoline with a handlebar for extra stability and balance. If you have small children, store your trampoline away when not in use or otherwise be sure to sue. You may feel a bit dizzy or lightheaded after your first few times on a mini trampoline. Your body may just need some time to adjust to this new type of movement, but you should still stop working out if you feel faint or dizzy. If these feelings continue for several workout, contact your doctor. How to get started to try rebounding on your own, you'll need to purchase a mini trampoline for home use or join a gym that provides them. If you plan to purchase one, keep in mind that there are many different types of trampolines. Be sure to choose an adult model that is small enough to fit in a corner of your home. It may be helpful to double-check measurements before ordering. What to look for in a mini trampoline? The ideal trampoline for rebounding should have sturdy, stable legs. The circumference often falls somewhere between 36 and 48 inches. Dot, dot, dot. IT should be able to hold adult weight, at minimum 220 to 250 pounds. You'll likely notice that larger trampolines can support. Hopefully, you would have liked our video. Please do like and subscribe our channel for such great informative videos. We have discussed benefits and tips of rebounder workout. Hopefully, you have enjoyed and learned a lot.